Well, thank you very fucking much for your two cents. And here's my fucking $5 worth. It's generational and it's not anybody's fault. Did you really like formulate this and take the time to type it and reread it even? Maybe you didn't reread it. I don't know. I don't know what goes through somebody's head when they say something like this. So let me break it down for you, my friends, my little keyboard warrior. It is the fault of each person who chooses to do harm to another person. It is a conscious act to abuse a child. The only person who's actually not at fault is the child. My grandparents, I'm sure, had their own trauma and experiences, and they chose not to do any better with that and pass it on to my mother through abuse. I don't know what she went through, but I lived with them, so I know what I went through. I am assuming she went through similar, if not the same. I'm not going to say worse because we don't measure trauma here. My mother took all the pain that she was put through and decided that she would do that to me. Not in front of people, no, behind closed doors. But it wasn't her fault. If it wasn't her fault, she would have done it all the time because what you're saying is she didn't have any control over her own behavior. I chose, even when I hadn't gone to therapy yet, even when I was incredibly unhealed, even as a mother who was only 17, I was 17 when I had my first daughter, not to hurt them the way that I was hurt and to do the best I could to do better. And not abusing a child is actually not difficult. Just saying. So there's my fucking $5 worth. And you can feel free to scroll the fuck by Butterfly because this kind of garbage actually isn't welcome here with my sibling survivors and the community of support that we've built here. You're not welcome.